Okay, here's your quick tip. Um, this is about using confident brush strokes. So many times, especially in the, in, um, in the emerging stage of becoming a painter, the brush strokes can be tentative and repetitive, causing the colors to go uh, dull and look um, un insecure. Now there's a little, well let me show you the difference. For example, uh, let's see, we can always use a cylinder as an example, let's see if we have a uh, cylinder here, boom, 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 boom. All right, so say you, you're, you're painting this cylinder and you're not feeling very confident about the cylinder and so you might do something like this and you just, you know, a little bit, and you're, and then you, and then, and you see that gets really smudgy and lacking in confidence. Now, there's an exercise that you can do if, if you're a, a brush, if you're a picker, if you're, if you're one of those whose brush picks, picks at the painting or that keeps repeating over the same stroke. You know, taking a small brush and you just repeat, 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 repeat. So you only need one stroke to put paint down. So uh, here's a little exercise that I'd like to show you um, that can help you build confidence with your brush strokes and it goes something like this you could use any shape but I like starting out with a, a, a cylinder so just draw yourself a cylinder you can draw it with a brush or with a pencil or pen it doesn't make any difference now here we go uh, and it doesn't matter about the that doesn't matter so much about um, light to dark and those kinds of things although I will build it light to dark so see if you can form the cylinder itself in under 10 strokes. And the way you do that, you simply start and you allow a stroke to start and end. Now, in this case, the stroke started here and of course the paint ran out as the stroke ended. Well, rather than picking at it like this, you simply give it another stroke or you come from the bottom and give it another stroke. That was three strokes. The better thing to do is to have enough paint in the brush to begin with so that you don't have to give it multiple strokes. And you might decide that you would like to stroke it in this direction rather than the vertical. So there, one, two, three, that was four strokes. And so let's see here. Five. Six. Pick up more paint. Seven. Eight. And then use a blending stroke. Nine. Ten. Now, if you can, if you allow yourself to, uh, to go through that exercise several times until you can find a number of ways to, to stroke um, it, you could decide that you want to stroke from side to side each time, like that. Hmm? Or you could decide that you would want to uh, build a portion of the strokes vertical and a portion of them uh, side to side. But the idea is to allow your brush to keep moving. The idea for the exercise is to allow the brush to keep moving in the direction of the shape itself rather than pick 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 the pick 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 like that um just um it just communicates a lack of confidence so if you can develop a brush stroke that can allow the brush to move with confidence like that then you will see all the difference in the world in your paintings. And this holds for watercolor people, uh, for acrylic, any, any medium that requires a brush. Get the most out of one brush stroke instead of using 50 where you could use just one. And there's your quick picture.